Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen Aset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack that bell. All right, guys, if you like this video, <laughs> give it a thumbs up and pass it on to somebody else. And if you have time, please drop a comment in the comment section because I love reading your comments as well. So today we're going to talk about something that's interesting to me. We're going to talk about Aquarius and abandonment issues, okay? So a lot of Aquarius are the type who are quick to ghost for different reasons. And a lot of Aquarius are extremely detached. It's not that they don't feel anything. We just detach from it, <laughs> you know? And today I wanted to tell you one of the reasons why many Aquarius have the tendency to either ghost or have some type of attachment issue. Now, attachment issues, like I just said, go two ways. Either it's a person who's really detached, like checked out, like not even really in the room, but in the room kind of energy. But then there are the other ones that are so attached like they're, they're constantly clinging to you. They always want to talk to you. They always want to be around you. These are the clingy kind of energies. And sometimes you have a person who goes in and out of both of these extremes, which is really interesting. Now, what I wanted to talk about was the clingier energy. Because most people, when you say Aquarius, do not think clingy energy. They usually think about ghosting. If ever, <laughs> whenever I say, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when I say the word Aquarius? Most people say some form of ghosting. That's usually what they tell me. Or some form of being emotionless, which is absolutely not true. Um, or they go into some form about us being aloof. You know, those are the top three, eccentric sometimes too. So basically they always go directly there. And then I say, what about the clingy ones? And a lot of people have not met clingy Aquarius or met a clingy Aquarius and didn't know that person was an Aquarius because it was unusual for an Aquarius in their mind to be so clingy. But there are some of us that are like that. There's some of us that have an attachment issue in that way either detached or attached. Now today I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the attached Aquarius. The attached Aquarius is extremely clingy. The attached Aquarius always wants to spend time with you. The, Aquari the attached Aquarius has um, abandonment issues. And an abandonment issue is basically, they have a fear of you leaving them. The attached Aquarius is always afraid of you leaving them. They might even say it. Sometimes they don't tell you. And sometimes they may say, oh, you're going to leave me. One day you're going to walk away from me. Sometimes they do that. Some of them will even ghost you once or more because they are so afraid that you're going to abandon them that they just walk away first before they can get hurt. So some of you out there probably know some of these types and you may not have even known at the time that they disappeared, you may not have even known that that's what the problem was. You might be sitting there thinking, I lost my Aquarius or my Aquarius ghosted. And on one hand, you could be thinking it's because your Aquarius didn't care about you or they went to go be with somebody else. And that could be the case. But on another possibility when dealing with Aquarius, that's why I always tell people you need to get a reading to see exactly what happened. Because when dealing with Aquarius, it also could be the fact that they were afraid. They were afraid that you were going to abandon them. They were afraid that the relationship wasn't going to work out and maybe you were going to just leave them. They may have been abandoned in the past. So an Aquarius who's been abandoned by a parent or a lover is more likely to have this type of trauma. So you might be wondering, why did my Aquarius disappear forever, you know, or disappear for a couple months and come back or something along those lines. So another reason why this happens sometimes is because you have an Aquarius who has an attachment issue that has given them an abandonment issue. So they're really, really attached to you and they're afraid of losing you. So they push you away. 
before you have a chance to push them away. It's a very sad way of thinking. Um, and when I've gotten into people's psyche, you know, when I've gotten into the Aquarian psyche and talked to them about it, it's a, it's like an anxiety they fear. It's a, a real fear, It's but it's constant like anxiety, they tell me. They're always afraid that the other person is going to send them a text and tell them it's over. They're always afraid that the other person is going to be cheating. They're always afraid that the other person is um, going to tell them that they really never loved them or that the commitment isn't real or something. You know, many of them tell me it's not until they get married that they actually believe the other person is really committed to them. So you do have Aquarius that are like this. Now, this type of Aquarius is a little bit more difficult to identify because this type of Aquarius doesn't usually tell you what's going on. They probably just disappear and come back, disappear and come back, disappear and come back. That's one common habit of them. Some of them just disappear and you never see them again because they're like, F that relationship. I'm not going back over there again. I'm scared over there. I'm going to go to somebody that I'm not scared of, you know? And in those cases, those Aquarius always end up with somebody who doesn't really care about them or they don't really care about one of the two so that they don't have that jeopardy. They don't have that fear. See, the fear comes in when they really like the person, when they really care about the person, when they are in love or they love the person or they feel themselves falling in love with that person. That's when the fear starts for that type of Aquarius. The abandonment issue comes right up. So that type of Aquarius probably needs some kind of grief, uh, trauma counseling or something like that, because that is usually triggered by an event. And if they do get it, they will be able to get over it. Um possibly some of them will never get over it it depends on how deeply the trauma went and how diligently they work to heal it some people have all kinds of wounds and never even attempt to heal them i see it every single day you know some people are you know i was talking to a virgo earlier today and he says some people are just too far gone and i'm like i still think they could heal it i still think they could turn it around but I think that maybe they believe they're too far gone. It's too much work. They can't do it. I remember when I was at the beginning of my healing journey. And the one thing I kept saying to God is was the obstacles are so big. There's, I, I would always say to her, it was a song I used to sing. I told you guys about it, that song, Up Where We Belong. And I would always tell her, there's so many mountains in my way. When I would do my prayers, I'd be like, there's so many mountains in my way. How do I get past these mountains? And she would always say the same thing. Climb one step every day. And when I wasn't listening to that song, I would still hear her say the same thing. Climb one step every day. So for many of us, getting the help that we need and getting the healing that we need is not easy. Because we're so busy looking at the mountain and thinking that we can't get over it. So I think that some people really do believe that they're like, this mountain is just too big. But I'm here to tell you, there's no mountain that's too big for creator, for the goddess, for the divine. Whatever you call God, there is no problem too big for your God. Bottom line, if you really believe, if you really have faith, and that's really what you're doing, <laughs> you know, that's really what your heart and your mind is, there is no obstacle that's too big for God to help you get over. Just take one step every day. And that's exactly what I did. So like I said, it can be healed. It can be addressed. Some people will and some people won't. So I just wanted to give you guys that information because if you are an Aquarius and you're dealing with these kinds of feelings, that is something that you might want to seriously consider healing because it can greatly affect every relationship you have, platonic and romantic. So it's something you really seriously want to consider healing. Likewise, if you're a person that's dealing with it, let's say you have an Aquarius and you've identified like, yeah, that's what's going on here then you need to talk to your Aquarius about it and see if they will get some help because that's the only way they're going to be able to get past it. They're going to have to address it in some type of spiritual, therapeutic healing kind of way. 
okay? All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. So if you would like to get a reading done, please email me and I will give you an appointment and all the rest of my information will be underneath this video. All right, guys, come back soon because I have a lot more to say. See you later.